Yo, what's good everybody? What's good YouTube? It's your boy Johnny Finesse. Welcome back to the channel and today we're about to watch another Jimmy High Roller video. He can't keep up with getting away with this. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, if you're gonna like this video, if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the video, make sure I hit that like button, make sure I hit that subscribe button. Subscribe if you're new. We do this every day. You can just check the history on my channel and see that I've been uploading every day. So with that being said, let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. And the Warriors on top by four. I seen this. Like, like they took they took that out. They said it was gonna take that shit out. So I'm guessing he was testing it. Not this year. This year, White. Not this year. When the offensive player tries yeah, they to testing it out. Defender in unnatural motion. It can either be an offensive foul if there's enough contact, or if it's marginal, as the refs deemed in that last shot by Steph Curry, then it's a no call. This is Stephen Curry giving his best attempt at a four-point play. You know, when you hit the three and draw a foul in the process. These four-point plays happen very, very rarely. Steph only has 43 of them in his entire career. Unfortunately, Steph didn't sink this three or draw the foul, That's a lot. and he's not happy about it. NBA refs have notoriously called this a foul for the last half decade. This move has yes. become a part of Steph's bag at this point, but he'll have to find a new method of drawing fouls outside because this past offseason, the NBA made the decision to no longer call these flailing and blatantly obvious flops as fouls, a decision that has a seemingly unanimous approval rating from NBA fans. On the other hand, a lot of players aren't so happy about the change. In the 2000-2001 NBA season, the league began to keep track of three-point shooting fouls. In that first season, Kobe Bryant drew four three-point shooting fouls. Allen Iverson drew five. In yeah. fact, the entire league as a whole drew 196 three-point shooting fouls throughout that's the not entire bad. season. That's, During that's the valid. 2020-2021 NBA season, the league drew 1,091 nah, three-point shooting that's fouls. That's OD. That's OD. 1,091. And this is uh that's od this is a problem that's 10 times but who exactly is the culprit well since the league began to keep track of this stat just over two decades ago these are the career leaders in three-point shooting fouls drawn anything over 100 is believe it or not quite a bit only a handful of players in 20 seasons have reached this milestone dirk Nowitzki is the only big man you'll find nick young Mick Young be drawing that much foul. I'm on guessing that's his whole career. At 142 three-point shooting fouls drawn is Kobe Bryant. Then you'll find Kevin Durant, Steph, Lillard, and at the top, two of the craftiest players to ever play the game. Jamal Crawford and Lou Williams with 200 three-point shooting fouls drawn. And then there's James Harden. With a three-point shooting foul total so astronomically high, it doesn't even make sense. That, yeah, that's just OD. If there's any stat that shows Harden's ability to manipulate the game, this is it. You want to hear a statistic that will blow your mind? Kobe Bryant played 16 NBA seasons while this stat was being tracked. And in that time span, he drew 142 three-point shooting fouls. 142 in 16 seasons. That's not bad. James Harden drew 124 three-point shooting fouls in one season. Do y'all see this? I think I'm going to be sick. And the most said, obvious I think I'm gonna be why sick. James Harden was able to accomplish this feat is because of his patented step back, a move that is literally unguardable. When he makes this move, his defender either sits back and gets a half-ass hand up while James Harden triple jumps his way to the three-point line, or the defender closes out hard and collides with foul. Harden in midair. About 90% of the time, is either you gonna let him make the shot or you gonna foul him? The time, and these are more. the two outcomes to this move. And instead of just clarifying the existing rules to make this move a definitive travel, the league has beat around the bush and simply said if the defender collides with the shooter and the contact is initiated by the offense, it's no longer a shooting foul. Mm. And although this isn't going to exactly fix the problem, it's definitely it's a step in the right direction. In the 2000-2001 NBA season, these were the league leaders in three-point shooting fouls drawn. Dirk Nowitzki surprisingly leading the league with 26. Yeah, I would never think double that. the next highest total. And here are the top three-point shooting fouls drawn in the 2019-2020 NBA season. Terrence to Ross? To say that this is getting out of hand would be a vicious understatement. Nine in 20 games. And you may be thinking, Sheesh. NBA players are only drawing more three-point shooting fouls simply because they're shooting more three-pointers. But when the stat was first tracked in 2000, the top foul drawers in the NBA had a three-point shooting foul rate of 3.97%, meaning that 3.9% of the threes they attempted resulted in a shooting foul. 
This mm. past season, the top foul drawers had a three-point shooting foul rate of 8.5%, drawing three-point shooting fouls at more than double the rate as the generation of players before them. Not only are current players taking far more threes, they're getting to the line much more often from these threes. Trey Young has perfected the opposite of James Harden's move. Yeah. Instead of stepping back and drawing the player outside, he gets inside of the defense and draws contact by coming to a screeching halt in the middle of his drive. Now, I'd be lying if I said this wasn't high IQ basketball. That is These high players IQ. are simply abusing a rule, not breaking it. But yeah. no one wants to watch this. During the early rounds of this summer's Olympics, Team USA had trouble adjusting to the more physical FIBA rules, trying to draw phantom calls and being utterly flabbergasted when they didn't get them. And this may have inspired the NBA to follow yeah, through this rule change this soft. upcoming season. Because when players can do this, the game completely changes. Check this out. Excluding last season where James Harden missed a large portion of games, Harden has led the league in three-point shooting fouls one, two, three, four, five, Shit. six times in the last eight seasons. That's oh, OD. Sorry. I, I just can't stop staring at it. That's OD. I mean, 124. Look at it. What do you mean, breathe, breathe? Don't tell me to breathe. I can't be. Yo, bring me a shot. And when you <laughs> break the numbers down specifically over this five season span, that's 407 three point shooting fouls drawn in 381 games. Sheesh. Which means that at the rate that Harden over. converts on these threes Damn. and his free throw percentage, these three point shooting fouls account for an extra 3.1 points per game. Which may not sound like much, but it's over a lot. the course of five seasons, Are you average 30? 1,181 points. Which means that 10% of all the points that James Harden has scored throughout that five season span came from three-point shooting fouls now i'm not saying all of these shooting fouls came from phantom calls but the vast majority of them did and this only factors in three-point shooting fouls we haven't even touched on this same tactic for mid-range jump shots and floaters and honestly as much as this gimmicky tactic changes the point totals these players produce these tactics change the game as a whole even more when a defender can't defend without being scared of drawing unnecessary fouls players on offense can do just about anything they want it makes for you to bring defense back sports they're really about to bring defense back no cap tactics like this have taken the power away from elite defenders in today's game and have left them with nothing to work with moves like this are also a big reason why nba stats are so inflated in today's league if your shot isn't falling and you're having a rough night on offense just pull this out of your bag and it's a surefire way to put some easy points on the board not only that but this move is dangerous to everyone involved in 2017 the nba implemented the zaza rule the zaza stating that rule. reckless closeouts can result in technical and flagrant fouls yeah that that play right there made him go to the fucking the raptors it made that whole big three break break up because of him the NBA like, also expanded the landing zone shit. for offensive players, virtually stripping defenses from getting good, honest contests on outside shots. And the moment the NBA did this, immediately, players abused these rule changes, bending and manipulating the rules that were made to protect them. And now look, just four seasons later, the league has gone the other way and is giving more power to the defense. Elite shooters that use this forced contact to manipulate totally get the a defense bucket. now have to think- Because you see everybody averaging 30, damn near 40 now. Like, you feel me? Think twice before they throw away a good look just to draw a foul. So all the niggas that really, like, know how to get a bucket without doing that is going to cook this year, bro. They're going to cook this year. So, I'll leave y'all with this. From the 2000-2001 NBA season to the 2004-2005 season, there were a total of nine double-digit three-point shooting foul seasons. I know that's an odd way to word that, but just stay with me. That's nine in five seasons, which is less than two players each year drawing double-digit three-point shooting fouls throughout the season. Last season alone, 33 players drew double-digit three-point shooting fouls. 33. Let's just all agree that this rule change has been one of the better adjustments the league has made in yeah. recent history. Hope you all enjoyed, and as always, until next time. Yeah, it's about to be. This is this season's about to be crazy. Like, if like you really have to be nice, nice to really get buckets this year. You really have to be nice, nice. But hey, if you made it to the end of the video, you obviously like the video, so you obviously gotta subscribe, hit that sub button. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video, and it's your boy Johnny Finesse, and I'ma holla at y'all.